Stream a live sports event today. Stream thousands of live and on-demand sporting events from any device. Click link in description box down below to watch full game in high quality. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for more sports updates. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game. has surrendered to Grant. And even now, as I write an eyewitness story for Leslie's Weekly, this Virginia countryside no longer trembles to the sound of guns. I have followed the war for five years, and the silence, the silence of peace is too much for my nerves. I am overcome with emotion. You better take a drink, Jim. You don't want to be overcome with emotion. You want your reading public to do the emoting. You're right. I got the shakes. Of course, it don't seem natural for a fact. No guns booming, no ambulances staggering down the road. Turn on the old hot tonic that made you famous, Jim. Today, the ambulances lie idle, says Jim Steve, the celebrated war correspondent. No longer is their precious cargo of shattered humanity. That's enough. Chip! 
for Jehoshaphat. What's the matter? It's Lee. Lee riding home from the wars. You haven't surrendered to him, have you, General? You haven't quit fighting him, have you, sir? No, no. We're just going home to plant a crop. And come back and fight him some more, ain't we, General? Oh, we ain't going home. We ain't just playing a trick on them blue coats, ain't we, General? What's your name, Lieutenant? Cleve Blunt, sir. Where's your home? Hopewell, sir. In the Bull Run Mountain country. Then you must be Miss Patty Blunt's boy. Oh, yes, sir. Well, you go home, Lieutenant. And tell your mother you must lay down your arms now and return to your books. But I want to go on fighting, General, until we beat them. Peace hath her victories no less than war. There's an old hymn which says, chance and change are busy ever. Man decays, but ages move. We must move with the ages, Cleve. There can be no standing still. anything but fight since I was 16. I couldn't stop it now if I tried. Who is in charge here? You must place yourself at my disposal for a few minutes. It is most urgent. I am an accredited military observer, and I wish to send my dispatch through our embassy in Washington to the Count von Bismarck in Berlin. You're an accredited to Frank Leslie, are you? Leslie, bah. I wish to send my dispatch to the Count von Bismarck, do you understand? The Count von Bismarck... It's just a herring to me. Hello, Count. Ah, Herr Steve, you must help me. The Count von Bismarck is waiting for my report. I wish to point out the mistakes your General Lee has made. Sure, you can point out Lee's mistakes. But only a great man like Lee yonder can point out the mistakes that'll be made after the guns are silent. Guns are never silent, Herr Steve. Guns are wisdom. Guns are love to you Prussians. Go ahead and send it. She's really charming. Yes, I saw her in Vienna. How beautiful, thing, Colonel. It was a pleasure, Your Excellency. Goodbye. 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 There's old Steed. A war horse and white tie and tails. Steed, old boy. Hello, Colonel. Hello. Lilas, this is Mr. Steed, with whom I had the pleasure of reporting the war between the states. My fiancé, Miss Thorndike. How do you do? An American war correspondent in Berlin. Well, we're like vultures, lady. We gather around and wait for the lions to die. You don't think the Prussian lion's going to die? No, but I think the Austrian lion's going to be pretty badly mauled. Shh, Jim, we're in Berlin. I'm sure Mr. Steed isn't here to report a war. Like everybody else, he's here to throw himself at the feet of the Viennese ballerina. Now, what chance would I have against an Austrian archduke? Jim, oh, I'm His right. Majesty's military attaché. We don't talk about such things. Pardon me. Yeah. Jim, I have waited a whole hour for you. I had a cable from New York, a very important assignment. <laughs> German teacher. Uh, yes. Is it true that that dancer hopes to marry the Austrian prince? Uh, every woman hopes to become a princess. Yes. Shh, pardon me. Yes. Jim. No scenes, please. I promise you. You promise? Yes, I'll be there. Now beat it. Please. Another German teacher? No, she gives me lessons, uh, piano. Piano? Oh, 
About the ballerina, wasn't she asked by the Prussian government to dance tonight? You know, a sort of compliment to the Royal House of Vienna, no bones broken? <laughs> I read a perfectly horrid article about her in one of those awful mudslinging American weeklies. Liars! Well, I did read it. I'm flattered. I wrote it. Oh, <laughs> She was probably thrown out of Vienna. Well, they didn't throw her far enough. I wish she'd landed in New York. Uh oh, that's the bell for the overture. May I have some champagne, please? I'd like a word with the American Bluebeard. I'll join you. Very well, dear. I'll see you later. Yes. Now, look here. Don't you stick your inquisitive American nose into high politics. Well, I may get a punch in the nose before the night's over, but I think I'll be able to hit back sooner or later. Now, when you're thrown in jail, give me a signal. I have connections. Send me a file and a loaf of bread, old boy. She's beautiful. She's worth over campaign.